Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 30th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. I do know that I have some more August ones to do. I just had a busy day, and I needed a little bit of uh, downtime this afternoon. So anyhow, the other ones are going to get done. So we just had a card flip out. It is the strength card reversed. So the strength card reversed is weak. There's some sort of weakness here. There could be some sort of control. Somebody might, there's, you know, things are uh, forced, maybe being forced, being, somebody may be forcing something. Um... Mm. Two of Cups, right next to it. Two of Cups about a partnership, right? It's about love. It's a union, a very compatible union. Two people that have shared values, right? This is a union. It is a happy couple, right? But that strength card reversed is some sort of weakness. Fear, fear, maybe. They could also be unable to restrain. Somebody may be unable to restrain themselves. There's a lack of restraint. But we do have we do have a partnership here. This that is very compatible. It is compatible typically. But we may have somebody that is afraid. They're afraid of a partnership or something like that. What do we got? What do we got to go with that? Eight of Wands reversed. So the Eight of Wands reversed is a lack of communication. It's miscommunication. It's not communicating. I'm wondering if somebody is... It could be. could also have a weak partnership here. You know, with the Strength card reversed. You know, there's always a choice. Because twos are about choices. Somebody has to choose. They have to choose who they want to be with. Who's the best partner for them. There's some sort of weak partnership here where there's a lack of communication. or Maybe there's a lack of intimacy with the Eight of Wands reversed. There's no passion or there's no communication with this partner. Strength card reverse, forcing, forceful, control. We may have somebody here that has some control issues. There could be some jealousy issues here with the Eight of Wands reverse. You may have somebody here that is jealous. They, they, I don't know, it feels like we got some something going on here. Four of Wands reverse. Yikes. So, you know, I feel like there is, I mean, the Four of Wands reverse could be a separation. There's, this is the, the party is over, right? The party is over. It's ending, could be ending suddenly. There could be a sudden ending here in between it for a partnership. We have somebody here that may have done something. I don't know if they were a coward or what they, they lack respect for others. There's control issues. We have, it's interesting. I do believe that there's going to be uh, a four of wands reverse is like the end of a commitment. Stopping something. This is messy. Cleaning, messy, messy, four of wands. It's parties over time to clean up this mess. It's messy. So there's some, somebody may receive some bad news about a partnership. I don't know. Two of cups is a partnership. We got two people here that are, it's like they're looking at each other. I don't know if they're fighting. <laughs> they could be. Or they're not communicating well. of wands reverse no passion there's no passion there's no passion here there's also low self-esteem there's there's low there's low self-confidence we have somebody here that is trying to ex exert themselves in some way maybe with a partner doesn't want commitment somebody doesn't want a commitment Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is uh, overwhelmed. Trying to do too much. Somebody's trying to do too much. A 
holding on to something that is weighing them down. Maybe holding on to a partnership that is weighing them down. You know, Ten of Wands, Four of Wands reverse, Two of Cups. Somebody is holding on to something that is weighing them down. What is this strength card reverse? This person, somebody may have somebody here that is weak. Maybe they're afraid to let go. Four of Swords. Right now, I want to clarify the strength for tired. Somebody is tired. They're exhausted. They. Uh, There is definitely some sort of exhaustion here with that strength card reverse. This is no energy. Need to take a break. Somebody may need a break. They may need to break. Okay, they may need to break. They are probably thinking about breaking up. What the hell? That's what it looks like to me. There's obviously been some suffering because the Three of Swords comes before that. There's been some pain. Somebody's been suffering. They've been not very brave. Or maybe they had low self-esteem, low self-confidence. Maybe looking at another partnership or they're looking at another option, but they may already have, have, have a partner. It feels like there's two options here. Twos are choices. But, hmm. Weak, controlling, forceful. Somebody may want a break. They may want a break. They may want to take a break. Maybe they need to take a break. There's jealousy issues here too. There's jealousy. There's there's uh, overdoing it. Somebody's been overdoing it. I feel like there's going to be a conversation that is had. It may have something to do with I don't want a commitment or something like that. Mm. But underneath that two of cups is the ten of cups. But next to that is the four of wands reverse. So there's this is this is like there's an opportunity for happiness here. There is for you know extreme happiness. There's an opportunity for happiness, but it requires some sort of movement because of that eight of wands. Somebody's gonna be receiving bad news about a relationship. Eight of Wands reverse, bad news, not good news. Somebody may want, they may want a separation with the Four of Wands reverse. There's no, they, you know, the holding on to this is, is too much. It's too much. It's too much. It's, it's overwhelming. I think we have somebody here that needs to relax. They want to relax. They need to relax. They need to heal. Okay. They need to relax. They need time. They need to go within. They need to reflect. They need to, it's like their self-esteem and their, and their self-confidence has been, drained they need to go within somebody needs to go within and heal they need to take a time out they need to take a time out from whatever is happening somebody is with, probably with a partner where because we have the two of cups versus the four of wands reverse the four of wands also like a partnership it's like a commitment that's not working out so it feels like we have two it feels like we have two it feels like we have one partnership or one commitment that's not working out this party is over there's nothing to celebrate here it was fun while it lasted but it's done okay it's done and there's another option here with the two of cups is an opportunity for happiness but it will require some sort of movement with the eight of wands and letting go of this baggage letting go of this burden you know you can't you have to let something go to relax, to have balance in your life, you know, to, this is to, to you, 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 somebody may have to let something go to have the success, you know, yeah, yeah, it's been a lot of work and, and maybe somebody has overcome a lot of challenge to get to, challenges to get to the success that they have gotten to at this point, but now it's, it feels like it's time to relax. It is time to relax. It's interesting that that is coming up. But anyhow, uh, Four of Wands reversed is not happy. Somebody's in an unhappy commitment. And I feel like we have two people that are, are looking at each other. I think there's going to be a conversation. There could be another option here. Somebody may be communicating with somebody else with that Eight of Wands reversed.
get prepared for some sort of arrival uh, with the three of wands that's to get prepared you better be getting prepared because something is arriving you know if you're single there's probably a partner here that is coming in unexpectedly there could also be a commitment that is stepping it up like somebody could be getting into a new commitment very suddenly uh, this is also traveling in a new direction Something is arriving. Whatever it is, it's the Ten of Cups, okay? The Ten of Cups is arriving. That's wish fulfillment. That's happiness. That's extreme happiness. Happily ever after, right? Something is arriving. There's a partnership, a partner that is arriving for somebody. Somebody may be also leaving a, a, a partnership. It could go either way. We have two tens right together, so this is a completion. It is a completion of some, of some sort. Somebody has been overwhelmed trying to prove something, but I feel like they're going to be, I feel like they're going someplace else. You notice this is like uh, going somewhere. There could also, somebody may have been waiting for an arrival. They've been waiting and here it comes. Something this can mean. This could mean so much, but getting get prepared. You better get prepared. It's right there. It's right in it's right in front of you. Something is coming. It's right there. That's what I want to say. It's right there. You can relax, you know. I feel like I feel like we have a departure, which is interesting, that leads to an arrival, which however that resonates with you. Um, Ten of Cups is happiness. It is a blessing, a spiritual blessing. Somebody is, somebody is uh, I feel like they're choosing to go after happiness, and it may mean that they have to leave something behind where it's not fun. It's no fun. It's really no fun. It's exhausting. It's overwhelming. There's no forward movement. It's interesting because when I turned the camera on, right before I turned the camera on, I was sitting here and I was getting ready and uh, I said, I don't know where it came from because I had just gotten out of the pool and I brushed my hair and I came in here and I sat down and just sat here or whatever. And I said to myself, these boots, these boots were made for walking. I actually, I actually sang it. So anyhow, uh, only the first verse. <laughs> anyhow, um, these boots were made for walking. And that's just what they're going to do. <laughs> anyhow, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Two of Wands, Two of Wands, reverse. This is making a decision. Being at that crossroads in the upright, should I stay or should I go? This is making the decision, spur of the moment decision could be. Somebody may meet, they've been indecisive. They've been unsure what they wanted to do. This is making that decision, should I stay or should I go? Somebody could also be forced to leave. I mean, that strength card reverse is force. It is some sort of force, you know, exerting control you know, making somebody do something that they don't want to do, you know, which is interesting. We have an, somebody here that has been holding on to something that has been weighing them down anyway. It's not healthy with the strength card reverse. There's, there is, there is healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's an unhealthy commitment. And they, uh, it feels like they've been trying to make it work, doing everything in their power to make it work. But I feel like there's some sort of, well, I think it's a sudden change of some sort. Um, two of wands in reverse making a choice making a decision to it's either to depart or go someplace else with that three of wands 
travel in a new direction. We have somebody here that is ready to leave something behind. They're ready to go. And it's interesting, before I started singing, I said, you ready, you ready, you ready, you ready, you ready, you ready? You ready? You ready? I'm in a weird kind of mood, so I don't know what's going on. Too much time in the sun, maybe, I don't know. Um, you ready? Ooh. The Empress. The Empress. The Empress is love, right? Unconditional love. She's the goddess of love. This is the birth of a new life. Um, she does everything with love. So the Empress gives birth to a new life after some sort of pain, after some sort of suffering. She she nurtures, she cares, she loves, she loves with all of her heart. Okay, so this is this is big love and abundance. Okay, uh, Venus is is uh, love and wealth. So um, an abundance of love, free flowing. She nurtures things. She can grow anything, right? This is a creator. This is somebody who creates life with love, okay? So through love. So this is, this is beautiful, okay? This is beautiful. So uh, we have a beautiful new life that is beginning. So we do, we have a beautiful new life that is beginning. Get prepared, get prepared for an arrival. Some of you, some for some of you, this may have to do with pregnancy if that's where you're at, but get prepared. It's right next to the three of wands. Some, somebody is coming, somebody's headed toward this empress. It goes two of cups, 10 of cups, empress. Partnership, relationship, love. Unconditional love. Feels like this Empress in the Three of Wands, somebody's been waiting. I mean, the Empress is a mother. She does, she acts like a mother. She's, she's the mother. She is the mother. So she does everything like a mother. She loves like a mother. She loves everything like a mother loves her child. So anyhow, we do have we do have love here. We have get prepared for an arrival. Get prepared for uh, some sort of happy news, but it comes after some sort of separation. So I do I do I don't know how that resonates, but there's been some sort of block communication or something like that. Maybe it's because somebody was in a, a commitment. A four of Wands reverse. That's, that's a separation. It is a separation. Empress is the is is all about self worth. Okay, she's she's all about self worth. She's about self value. Um, she knows her value. She's a queen. She's she's the queen of she's all queens. Okay, she's all queens in one. Uh, it feels as though we have this empress that it, or who, it is an empress. I mean, it's a very feminine energy. I mean overwhelmed somebody is overwhelmed with holding on to something that isn't communicating or isn't reciprocating because of that eight of wands the eight of wands reversed is is underneath it is the ten of wands so that's like not communicating no forward movement maybe we may have somebody here that's not ready for commitment the eight of wands reversed next to the four of wands reversed not ready for commitment maybe it's time to move on with the three of wands maybe it's time to move on know your value know your worth know your beauty you have a lot of love to offer if this person doesn't want commitment then perhaps it's time to go Oh, God. Empress, birth of a new life, creating a new life. So we do have somebody here that is in the process of creating a new life. I mean, the Empress is, if you take a look at that, this Empress is, is, is beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Overflowing. And, so, and when you get the lotus, it means she can make anything beautiful. So it's interesting. It is definitely interesting. Ooh, 
Page of Cups. So yeah, there's there's somebody that's going to be expressing their feelings or making an offer. There's good news coming. Could be have something to do with a child for some of you. Anyhow, it doesn't have to be. This is a, this is flirting or an admirer or somebody expressing feelings. Uh, this is love, right? And it's some sort of love. So, so there's some sort of good news that is coming. It has to do with with uh, love. That's for darn sure. Anyhow, um, get prepared. Somebody needs to get prepared. It's going to be very sudden. Whatever this news is, it feels like it's good news with the Page of Cups. It's good news. There's good news arriving that's going to make somebody really happy with the Ten of Cups. That's extremely happy. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles reversed next to the Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. This isn't working out. Somebody has been trying to make something work that where there's no growth. And the Empress, she grows everything, right? She can grow anything. She's a, she's a, she's a, you know very a natural. She's natural. Anyhow, um, the Seven of Pentacles reverse a dead end. There's there's no growth here. It's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. Overwhelmed, trying to prove that they can make something grow that isn't growing. Trying to make a partnership grow that isn't growing. Trying to force somebody to love them that doesn't. Oh my God. It's time to. Maybe you gotta focus on yourself. Maybe you gotta focus on your self value. Focus on your self worth. Uh, maybe maybe that's the case here. Um, maybe you need to leave. Somebody may need to leave. They may need to leave a commitment with somebody that isn't ready for commitment. You know, the Four of Wands, a marriage card in the upright and reversed. It's not. Then you know. It's not. It's like something, I don't want to get married. No, I don't want a commitment. No, I don't want to do this. No, no, no. And no would be in the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there's some sort of no commitment here that leads to a departure with the Three of Wands. But the departure leads to an arrival somehow with the because it can be either way. So it does lead to an arrival. There's going to be some sort of relocation or planting seeds someplace else with the Seven of Wands. It's like the season is over, and it is over. The party is over. The party is over. It's, this is it is. It's time to it's time to to plant the seeds in more fertile ground. And the Empress is the most fertile of them all because she's the mother. Somebody's going to get an offer or an invite. They are. This is definitely good news. It's exciting. This is a new adventure. It's a new path. It is a new direction. Somebody is going to get some an offer or an invite that is exciting. Or they're going to get some news that may have to do with a child. Somebody may be getting news that they're pregnant. If they want to be pregnant, then whatever. But anyhow, whatever is happening, we got some good news that is coming. It does, it's going to make somebody very happy. It's about a partnership. It is definitely about a partnership. The strength card reversed is some sort of control issues. Somebody has been controlled. They've been held back. Maybe held back by fear. Or they may have been controlled by another partner that they were in a commitment with. I don't freaking know. Anyhow, Four of Swords right next to that is tired, tired. Let me another card for over there. Need to relax. Somebody really needs to relax. They need to just heal. There could be a healing love here. Nine of Swords. I wanted to clarify the strength reversed and the Four of Swords extremely exhausted we have somebody here that is depressed they're depressed this is the past it's in the past thank god that, that all this stuff is like uh, right here okay maybe it's just happening now or it's happened yesterday or whatever this is extremely worried anxious despair oh my god you know uh 
afraid, very afraid. What do I do? What do I do? Somebody's been thinking about what to do. What do I do? It's almost like they've been trying to force a connection with somebody that they're not compatible with and they may have somebody else here that is compatible. Didn't I just shuffle? You'll have to, I'll have to. But we have this page of wands on the bottom again. There's definitely some good news that is arriving. Things are going to get better. They are. Because somebody is going to uh, choose to stop investing in some sort of dead end. They're going to decide to focus on the future with the three of wands. To create a better life, to create a new life. I mean, because that's what the Empress does. She's, it's the birth of a new life, right? The birth of a, a new relationship. It is new. Mm. Six of Cups reversed is packing up, leaving home, uh, letting go of the past. Oh my God, I just shuffled again. You, I shuffled that time. Definitely, definitely there is some good news that is coming. This is exciting. It's an exciting new beginning. It really is. So anyway, uh, get prepared. There's gonna, somebody's gonna receive an offer or an invite that they should take. Because this leads to an exciting new beginning where there's probably an abundance of love because that's what the Empress does, right? She gives she gives her all. She's it's like a mother's love, okay? It is. It's the most abundant type of love that you can get. Good luck. <laughs> 